It's a different lifestyle than another nine to five job. This is always this an is uh, alternative means, means for such a sport that you don't need anybody. You just got great get back and back every year on year. Do your thing. Bring don't think about what people say and have fun. Yeah, that's how it started. <laughs> For a long time, it had seemed to me that life was about to begin. Real life. Something to be gone through first. Some unfinished business. Time still to be served. Or a debt to be paid. Then life will begin. At last, it dawned on me that these obstacles were my life. But as complex as life is, there is little that can beat the beautiful simplicity of a bicycle. The happiness and the freedom that the trail brings me overrides the pain of the moment. Nothing compares to the simple pleasure of riding a bicycle. the surrounding woods like a lifelong friend. The smells and sounds of the woods fill my nose and ears. The squawking birds and the wind rushing through the trees. All I can see is the trail in front of me. All I know, this is the moment, right now. My name is Yanko Pardengda. I am 21 years old and I ride mountain bikes. Growing up in Shillong, it's easy to go and find trails. You know, just a walking distance from your house and you can just have a nice flowy trail there. Over the years, we've discovered many trails and we started gathering our friends and started building, you know, obstacles and jumps. When you're cycling, it really gives that instant connection with the other cyclists. And that's how we started growing and I started meeting other people, kids and boys of my age and we started, you know, riding together. I mean, it's all about a group of friends riding together and just having fun, you know. I've been riding since I was eight years old. I started with BMX, then I started riding mountain bikes when I was 16. Then I got into uh, downhill riding. As I grew up, I realized that, you know, it's a really 
it's a whole different world outside. So the reason I like mountain biking or cycling specifically is because it is something that you, makes you, you step away from the crowd, away from the, the general population you can say. Um, and coming up from a place like Shillong where you have tons of trails, you know, it's, it's kind of perfect for uh, the area here. Mountain biking basically is the sport of riding bicycles off-road. These bikes are actually specially designed to actually adapt to those conditions like really rocky trails or steep trails. You know the, the features designed are used to enhance the durability and performance in rough terrains. Mountain biking is basically broken down into many categories, mainly cross country, then we have trail riding, downhill free ride and dirt jumping. And just recently I had this opportunity to actually work in a bike shop. It's something that I've always wanted and you know to really have that opportunity and to be able to work in a bike shop is like a dream come true. You know the most important factor of opening the shop was the workshop. We didn't have anybody who could repair cycles here. People are buying cycles and then something goes wrong with the cycle and you take it all the way down to Guwahati which is a big hassle. I am uh, Zulfikar. Uh, I stay here in Shillong and uh, I work as a doctor here in Shillong. As I was cycling, I actually uh, you know, wanted to meet more people who like the same sport, who share the same interests. You know, eventually I met some of the people. Since it was so small, we needed to really get together and form a community. That, that's where I met Dr. Raj, Dr. Zulfi, and we formed the Cycling Shillong Club. We started, you know, about four years back, and uh, mm, very few cyclists at that time. You know, about two, three cyclists. Then we thought, you know, why not have a formal, organized club with a constitution and everything? So we did that. I'm Dr. Raj, and I'm also a practicing psychiatrist. I've been working in Nazareth for almost last four and a half years. We intend to have this club for multiple reasons. One, giving all the cyclists of Meghalaya to give them a platform to hear their voice, plus promoting cycling. That the boys have talents here. We just need to give them the right equipments and the exposure and they will sign. So whenever you cycle around, you know, you get all the stairs and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of awkward at times. But it's also, you know, you, uh, keeping in mind that you're doing something good and it's something, you, you know, you love. So uh, keeping all that aside, it's, it's, a, it's a nice sight to see nowadays. And with many cyclists coming up, it's not, no longer, you know, a big deal. And I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely dream if I could see a, some guys or some boys and girls paddling slowly on, on the road and have a school bag, a college bag and you park rows and rows of cycles outside the college, absolutely no noise pollution, right? Absolutely no, no traffic jam. And, you know, I don't know, it's a lovely sight, you know. I think people are in fact picking up cycling all over the world. It's kind of like an eco-friendly mode of transport where you can get from point A to point B quick as well as, you know, with a zero carbon footprint. So, especially, you know, in uh, these days where you have a lot of jams and all that. So, I usually like to ride my bike, I mean, commute from my home to college and back. It's slowly picking up and I think it's a good thing that's happening to Shillong. So there's this event coming up in Kohima 
next month the Kohima downhill third edition I'm really looking forward to it I'm preparing for it really excited for it and let's see what happens Yep. So we just reached Kohima. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. It's cold and we don't know where we are. We're on our way to Pesama right now, where the track is located. It's about 9.1 kilometers from the city of Kohima. I've been checking out the track, and it's the kind of track where you can't really uh, say whether you know it's uh, you've got your lines perfect or not because it's quite long, and you get tired just halfway. It's technical and steep because the bottom, so you get really tired. I've been riding a few laps. Especially with you know when you're with people whom whom you share, share the same interest, so you know just hanging out with them and meeting new people, talking bikes, and just you know hanging out, trying out new stuff. You know it looks like it's gonna be an awesome event. I've been practicing. I've been riding a few laps these days. It's also great that we have many cyclists from Shillong who are going to participate in this event. Uh, my name is Apshar Griffin Yangte and I'm, I hail from Shillong. I represent in Cycling Shillong uh, and SDRT, Shillong Downhill Race Team. I love riding, I love, I even love racing, so yeah. Uh, my name is Shayan. I am 18, 19 years old. <laughs> I'm doing my first uh, year in hospitality management and I'm from Shillong, Meghalaya. Uh, well, you can already see like so many riders coming from Nepal, Pune and all of these other places. So I think if it's it's, it's, it's already done here, so why not in Shillong? No, you know, because Shillong is more or less closer to Guwahati and closer to all of these big, big places. So I think it's gonna do really well. Yanfo and the whole Native Station team have done a great job with the track, it looks awesome. My name is Yanfo Kikon, I'm from Nagalan. I'm one of the co-founders of Native Station. We are here right now organizing the Kohima Downhill Race, which is part of the Hornbill Mountain Biking Festival. We started this initiative in 2014 with some few friends. Uh, we, just, we were just riding um, often in Kis Kisama and all these hills. And we thought, why not have a professional race? Uh, we had no funds, but actually we just pulled in uh, from here and there and we sort of managed it. And now this is the third edition This we're going to have this year. So yeah, in terms of track uh, progression of the event, I think it has progressed uh, in, in terms of number of riders and also participation especially. Now we have international riders uh, from UK and Nepal. So that's also a good sign because next year I think we can have more. This is also maybe, even in small humble ways, this is also kind of promoting tourism and also a treat for the locals and other tourists who will be coming to watch the race. We can have more. This is always an uh, alternative means for both entertainment as well as fun. Instead of burning fats, you can burn fuel. You can save time, money, yeah, save money and everything. So you said, you said huh? instead of burning fats, you can burn fuel. Instead <laughs> of burning, fuel. yeah, instead of burn, <laughs> instead of burning fuel, you can burn fats. So burn the fats in your body. <laughs> Race day! So it's finally race day. Uh, and you know, the wait is over. I'm feeling pretty nervous about this, but you know, it's always, this always happens during races, and hopefully, I'll be able to give it my best shot. Let's do this.
What happened, Ian? Um, I run was going good, and somehow I don't know. I just crashed. I almost died. Look at that. Mm, can't get any worse than that, I think. I lost my bar ends also. Both of them. Yeah. Shit. So, uh, look at this. I my plate number cracked. Um. 27, right? Yeah, it was 27, but <laughs> now it's just a Hornbill Mountain Bike Festival. I want my plate number. I, I, I okay. don't know how they call it. But it's the end. I can't race anymore. Hey, you, 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 you hey, like you like bro. I want to try right now. <laughs> So we're back in Shillong now and uh, we just heard there's going to be another uh, downhill race here, probably the annual Cyclo BHP race uh, organized by Xpots. So you know after the Kohima downhill it's been, uh, I mean I've had a, a, it's been bad luck all this while you know I couldn't perform probably because you know I get so nervous during competitions and that just you know ruins the whole thing I feel better off when I'm riding um, just like that you know so it doesn't psych me up that much when I when you say races or competitions you know because of all the pressure uh, yeah I can't, I can't <laughs> sometimes it's just too much I can't take it so but you know it's um, it's a good thing to have all these, you know, progression, promotion of the sport. And I will be a part of all this as long as I'll still be riding. Turns out, um, there's no place to ride. I mean, this looks awesome, but not rideable. Bruce, <laughs> but Bruce is riding. 